Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining me on today's collector car video. And you say, Tone, how do you decide what's a collector car and what's not a collector car? And I say, you know what? Good question. Thanks for asking that. I appreciate that. We always hear rumble all around this place, right? Oh, it's just like music all the time. Anyway, uh, so to me, like a collector car is this. Low uh, number amount built, very few left, uh, low mileage, preserved, and then even if they're preserved and they're not restored, even better a collector car. And that, my friends, is exactly what we have here today. This Cosworth Vega, if you've never driven one, the engine is awesome in these things. They are uh, you know, documented in a registry. This one here, we've electronically metered the paint all the way around the car, showing it's authentic original paint, original interior. All of these original things inside this car uh, are amazing. We're gonna take a look around here so you can get a better idea of the kind of quality uh, showpiece that you would have to be able to go to car shows, uh, put in a museum, whatever it is you like. This is a cool piece. All right, so uh, an original paint car is always worth significantly more than a car that's restored. You say, Tone, why would that be? Well, because they're only original ones. And so how do I know that that's original paint? Did you lick it? Did you taste it? Do you know that's 1975 paint? I said, you know what? Good question. No, I did not do all that. However, I do have an electronic tool that we used here for many, many years. Uh, and this measures the thickness of paint in millionths of an inch thick, right? Millionths of an inch thick, that's all the paint is? Yes, it really is. It's very thin uh, in millionths of an inch, but it's many coats and it has clear coat and stuff like that for the modern cars and single stage for older cars. Anyway, what this does here is it measures each panel. So if a body shop made a repair on a fender over there, the paint would be thicker over there. The body shop doesn't care how thick the paint is, they just want it to look nice, right? And so this helps us stand out. So if the paint is say, let's say this paint was 3.5 millionths of an inch thick, as long as it's two millionths above or below, we consider that original paint up to 5.5. When it gets to eight, nine, and 10, we know the panel has been painted, right? And that's what we do here. So real quick, uh, for instance, uh, we'll come here, start at the hood, and we get a nice 3.0 reading. I think Angie wants to get a picture of that. 3.5 right there. And remember, we're talking about millions of an inch thick, so um, the variance is fine. 3.0, all the way around the car, 2.5. Again, all of those panels all register kind of in the same of that right there. And then, because it's been a show car its whole life, it's been kind of uh, climate controlled and taken care of this black paint the only color that it came in in 75 which is kind of cool uh, is actually really nice the graphics are still great come on up here we're gonna check the quality of it make sure that you're reading like every letter in the paint right look how crystal clear that is look at the lights and the ceiling in the paint don't look at the paint look at all of the detail in the paint and that'll let you know uh, originality so original uh, emblems and lenses bumpers rub strips uh, all of these things uh, that make for a collector car is exactly what we have here. Color combination with the gold uh, trim and the matching wheels and what have you says you have a kind of a special unit until you open this up here. And this right here is spectacular, right? This is, uh, if you haven't followed F1 racing over the years, Cosworth is an English company that builds ridiculously fast race cars, right? Thousand horsepower uh, F1 cars back in the day. And here, uh, they were contracted to build this uh, engine, well, basically this head, for uh, the upgraded Vega engine. Here we have cold air induction, right? Kind of the infancy of this right here. We have, uh, for EGR valves here, we have tower clamps, we have detailed stuff in here. Uh, all of this stuff, kind of all original kind of pieces in here, which look really great. Original decal here, Cosworth Vega there. Uh, not an original die-hard battery, but that's the good news is the car will always have a fresh battery in it. And then the detail in here, so that if you want to go to a car show, you can do this. The great thing about these cars, too, is if some people, uh, uh, like a lot of our clients, just want a cool car to drive. They don't want to go to car shows, open up, sit there and do whatever. Other people love car shows. They want to go to cars and coffee. This is a beautiful car to do either one of those things and enjoy. And I'd like to point out, lastly, that the underhood light is on. You say, well, tell them, why are we talking about a, a $5 bulb, right? Well, that's not my point. My point is that when you have a car that's preserved like this and you see this kind of thing working, it's details of how good a car is. All right, so what I do love about this car in general is just like this call out here, Cosworth twin cam, right? Original uh, 
emblems and decals and taillights. This is the original dealer sticker here. You can leave that on if you want. If you want to take it off, you can do that as well. The undercarriage is very nice because it's been in a climate controlled uh, storage area. And then inside here, these cars were designed to be functional. They weren't thought of really as original as race cars. But in the case of this here, we have a fully functional kind of uh, real world car. The back seats folds down. You got all this storage in here. And then part of the, what I love so much is back inside here. So if we could come in here for just a moment, I want you to see this. All of these original decals and stickers are still here. The jacking instructions, right? Um, the slow compartment here. And then lastly, if you could come in here for a second, inside here is an original tire. This is an original 1975 uh, Goodyear on a painted rim. Jack is in here. It's detailed. The trunk has still got the original splatter paint in it. This is a cool piece of history. I'm talking about circa 1975. It's almost 2025 that we're doing this video. This is a 50 years old and it is so well preserved. All right, so you walk up to this cool car that you drove to work on a Friday and you're like, man, I love this car. It's so good looking. However, that's not where you're going to spend most of your time. You're going to spend it inside and that's where I want to spare some time with you. But I want you to hear something first before we get in. And that's back to my originality statement. That annoying noise. You hear that annoying noise? And also the sound of this door. Listen. This is a 50-year-old door. Sounds really good. However, the annoying noise inside, okay, is the key buzzer still working the way it's supposed to. How cool is that, right? Then we have some of this cool stuff here. <coughs> Electro clear rear window defogger sticker. This goes right here on the mirror. Angie's going to get some uh, photos of this here as well. And then over here we have the starting instructions, starting procedure, original uh, Cosworth uh, labeled Cosworth Vega attention, telling you the details of this car and how you're starting it differently than uh, that. Telling you about the fuel filter change. This is a different car. This is not a Chevy V8 Vega, I mean, sorry, Vega GT. This is a Cosworth Vega. It was very different. This gold trim dash, 120 miles per meter in a Vega? I don't think so. Now you need it because you got power under the hood. 8,000 RPM tack with a 6,500 RPM redline. Very few cars were operating at 6,500 RPMs. Uh, the original AM FM stereos in the car. But what I want to share is like this tiny little things like how you can still see all the pleats in each of the seats, right? This is all original. None of this has been replaced yet, right? That's how well preserved it is. The headliner is in incredible condition. The back seat, I'm not sure it's ever had a sole in it. Still has the wheels, full gauges here as well, like temp bolts and stuff like that. And I look around and I go, this is an incredible, incredible piece of history, uh, what we would call a survivor. And if you were a human being, you would be at the top of the, the chain if you were survived in this kind of condition. Anyway, it's a cool car to go for a great drive in. All right, so we close out this video. Uh, it, this is believed to be the most documented, lowest mileage uh, Cosworth Vega of its kind, right? This is a piece of history. Will we see another one like this again? I don't think we will ever in our lifetime, right? The ones that uh, have come, that have crashed, they're all gone, right? Uh, the ones with plenty of miles, there's plenty of those out there as well. Well, not plenty because they only built uh, a little over a thousand of them. But my point is that, is that, uh, sorry, 2016 of them. This is number 615. Anyway, uh, my point is that this is uh, an award-winning preservation trophy vehicle, right? Original paint, original interior, original drivetrain under the hood, detailed everywhere. The original spare is still in the car and a thick documentation book, including the original window sticker, bill of sale, like all of this cool stuff uh, is in there ready to go to take the shows and things like that, or just to put in your office to look at. Anyway, call us 301. 816-1000 will tell you all about this cool Cosworth Vega. And if you don't mind, uh, hit the like button down below there. Helps get our message out, and I really appreciate that. Uh, share it with your friends. They might see some content they like as well. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. we got new stuff coming out all the time. And I'll see you on the test drive. All right, so what's the Cosworth Vega sound like versus a regular Vega? Well, a lot better. Let me just say this about that. First off, it starts really nice, too, and winds up. Remember those old Vega engines? They're not bad, they just didn't make a lot of power. This is very different. That's only 
4,500 RPM. This has a 6,500 RPM red line. Super nice sound. So what's it like to drive a Cosworth Vega, you ask? I did hear you ask that, right? Well, this is what it's like. You find yourself a nice winding road and you get a feel for a car that's very different than a standard Vega, let me tell you. Come right out of the corners, nice. Wow, and I have to tell you, while this is a beautiful car and the preservation is one of the nicest we've ever seen, it drives very much like a new car. I don't even hear any rattles, and I remember GM getting a lot of hard time about the Vega not being such a great car. No way. This car is super nice. Listen, we're hitting bumps. We're going around the corners. Whoop, that's my seat. I adjusted it, and now it's comfortable. Thank you, finally. And this is where you want to get this car. You want to get this car out on some windy roads, not the drag strip, right? They built this thing to go. Wow, <laughs> sorry, I'm having a little fun. Nice to blow off an afternoon and go for a cool drive in a car. My suggestion that you do the same. This is a 12,600 mile car that I'm driving right now. A piece of history, 50 years old. Shift smooth, ride so nice. All these stickers and decals are still in place. You can go to a car show. This is great, man. This is super, super nice. Wow, it's true. When they when they say that they're only original ones, they really are. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the ride. I had a great time, and I'll see you on the next one.